Break it, big bitch! Yo, yo, fuck y'all! What up? What up? Jump, bitch, jump! Hey, chill the fuck out, nigga. Hey, won't y'all leave, homie? Nigga, I'm extra savage, nigga. I got Apache blood in me, nigga. Nigga, your Apache blood gonna be spilt out on the fucking street. <clears throat> what the fuck was that for? on me or something? Get out of here. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I saw worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment, but we don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Moving out, people. We need this area. Clear. Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got our shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Where is that son of a bitch? Keep your eyes open! He's here somewhere! Lock him down! Get an ambulance now! <laughs> It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit. Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Hey, I spoke to Steve. We're ready to move. I gotta take the loot to this guy me and Trevor met, Devin Weston. Big time investor or something. Oh, all right, shit. Sure. Well, I'll see you at the lot. Baby, what are you doing? Neighbors are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Go play golf at midnight. That's it. Walk away like you always do. Hey, you. Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Yeah, man. I, I guess so. Why not? Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. Just not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. You just gonna leave your shit all over the driveway? Uh, yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Franklin, man. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. Oh, okay. What is that? It, um, Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And? Do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Maybe in the last century it was. Yeah. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. 
Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. Stay right there. I'll be right back. 